Just released surveillance video shows the moment a van plowed into this department store in Burien last month. 11 people were hurt. Camera 7's Didi's son just talked with a mom who was holding her baby when that van crashed right into them. Didi. Yeah, Lindsay, and you can see that there is still plywood over the door of this Ross here because of damage from the crash. Now that mom, her baby, and husband were right on the other side of this plywood. They were about to leave the store when the van slammed into all of them. This surveillance video shows you shoppers at a busy Ross department store about a week before Christmas. Then this white van smashed through the wall and jewelry counter, running over people and sending others flying. I remember like the wall of glass coming at me. Um, and I'm pretty sure that like took my breath away because I remember it felt like I was pushed forever because I was pushed all the way until the van stopped. Rochelle Veneer is this woman in the red shirt. She's holding her nine month old baby boy. Her husband is in the white shirt. They all got hit. She says her instinct was to shield her son. It didn't matter what happened to me, honestly. At that point, it was like protect him. Her husband's leg broken in the crash. Rochelle still has this lesion, but her baby boy, just a couple of scratches. A total of 11 people got hurt. One of the most seriously injured is this two year old. He was in his stroller, pinned under the van. He needed multiple surgeries and is in a body cast. His mom spoke with us through a translator. He is stable. He is getting better, but doctors say it would be a long road to recovery. After the crash, we also talked with a Ross employee in the hospital who was working the jewelry counter. All of a sudden, it's plowing through the front of the store, hits me through the counter and I am conscious through it all. The driver of the van, Lee Skelly, pled not guilty last week to four counts of vehicular assault plus other charges. Prosecutors say Skelly was supposed to be the getaway driver for his girlfriend who was trying to shoplift from the store. Skelly admitted to police he used meth shortly before the crash. Victims all say it's incredible everyone survived. Especially watching that video, like it just, it's truly amazing that, that we got out of it the way we did. The suspect involved in this crash is still in the King County Jail tonight on a half million dollars bail. Live in Burien, DD Sun, Cairo 7 News.